We begin tonight with breaking news out of Niagara Falls. A woman is dead and a child hurt after jumping into the Niagara Gorge. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Stemler. Hello again, I'm Scott Levin. We are still learning about exactly what happened late this afternoon and getting an update from the city and Niagara Falls Park Police. Doing your sides, Dave McKinley is still live tonight, right near the scene with the latest details. David. Scott, just within the last couple of hours, we did get some clarification from State Parks Police on how this situation went down, including his remark that to them it does not appear to have been accidental. They tell us that initial reports came in around 1230 this afternoon from several callers who told them that a woman and a child had gone over the railing at the top of the Niagara Gorge, not far from the Cave of the Winds entrance on Goat Island. They fell approximately 90 feet down. Members of the Niagara Falls Fire Department did get down into the gorge, utilizing the Cave of the Winds elevator, and they were able to find the five-year-old who survived the initial fall. He was taken by Mercy Flight to Oshai Children's Hospital. Unfortunately, the female um, is did not make it, and she was uh, recovered by the New York State Police Aviation Unit, and is uh, being um, taken by the Niagara County Coroner. We are told that because the woman was found deceased rather than risk the lives of first responders to retrieve her body and then carry it across icy terrain at the base of the gorge, a state police helicopter descended into the gorge where she was placed on board instead. We are told that that child suffered what appeared to have been a head wound and that there were several other people with this woman and this child at the time the incident occurred, people that state parks police are interviewing. Reporting live on Goat Island in Niagara Falls, Dave McKinley. Channel 2 News.